side stories are extra content in the game that provides extra rewards while also telling whatever stories it represents. The Book of Memories are old side stories that become available with 900 Skystones. I do not recommend doing any of them except for the Eunice side story, which grants you a good crit chance artifact for your whole team. Unrecorded History really isn't a side story since it's just episode 1 epilogue, which is part of the main story. Honestly, I don't know why it's here. The last one is the biggest one. This part changes once every 2-3 to three weeks. There are two types, one that lasts for 2 weeks and focus on one character with quick rewards, and then there are bigger events like this current slime side story that lasts around 3 weeks with more rewards. Regardless of which event, there should be an exchange button which provides rewards. For all major events like this one, always buy the artifact first since equipping the artifact increases the currency you get per mission completed. Then buy the free stuff like Molagora, Charmed, etc. Then buy the character that may or may not come with the side story. In this case, it's Shuna. So in order, buy the artifact if it's there first, then the rewards, then the character if it's available. You can skip the friendship gifts if you value your energy elsewhere. For the Conquest Shop, I recommend these items in order. The Speed Ring is for your Wyvern team debuffers. The Boots is for your RB or another DPS. You can get the Hit Chance Necklace and put it on your Alexa or Sigurd or whoever your Wyvern debuffers are. For the Crit Set, you can get the Chest, the Necklace, and the Ring and you can put it on your DPS units that needs Crit Chance. For the Effect Resistance Set, get the Boots and the Ring and put it on your Angelica or Montmorency. If you have the free crit damage set that you get from Labyrinth by completing Nyx Seed Stage 5, you can also get the helmet which gives you pretty good substats. Now keep in mind that most items I just recommended may or may not have these types of stats with effect resistance or effectiveness or something really off brand. If you are rolling this particular helmet for example, if you roll all into effect resistance then this item kind of becomes a little dead. So I would go to plus 9 and then look at it and see if you rolled into effect resistance a lot. If you did, you should probably drop the item and it's just a dead item. Those are my recommendations, and once you learn to play the game more, you can get the other sets like Immunity and Counter for PvP. Keep in mind that the stats play a crucial role in picking the gear. Don't pick gear that has a lot of irrelevant stats like effectiveness or effect resistance, or have like really bad main stats like attack percents for necklaces. If you have any comment questions or concerns, join my Discord that is filled with new players, or ask in the comments down below. Take care.